Yeah, so I'm on vacation, and guess what? I forgot my shoes. Forgive my camera angle, I've got a little tiny tripod in my little travel camera. This isn't the best setup, but we're making do here. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dave from Chase's Summit and welcome to my vacation. I'm actually in the Cape, Cape Cod, Massachusetts. I'm from north of Boston, but uh, we came here for a little week getaway. I just got ready to go for my morning run today and I realized I forgot to pack my shoes. So fortunately, I went on the Ultra website because I'm a big fan, boxes upside down. I found a store locator and there was a Marathon Sports here in the Cape in Yarmouth. So shout out to them. But I picked up these guys. These are the Ultra Torin Plush 4.5s in a size 10 and a half. Hang on, I'm wearing them. Yeah, so I got the black color, not my first choice, but all they had in stock. It comes in at around nine ounces, I think. So they're pretty lightweight. They're really, uh, really not bad. The last time I wore an Ultra Torn, I think it was the 3.5. Uh, I had problems with the upper ripping along the edge here. This feels a lot stretchier, so I'm hopeful that these will last. I've been wearing the Ultra Escalante for a little while now, and I really like that shoe, but it felt a little too narrow in the forefoot, and these torrents just feel right. I don't know what it is about them. I, I put these on in the shop, and I was like, wow, these are for me. They really feel like the Ultra Lone Peak, but like in a road form, if that makes any sense. They've also updated the outsole here, and these lugs actually align with the bones in your feet which is uh, pretty innovative. Uh, I really like that. They're also very flexible, but they still have a good enough platform. And what I really like about these is that midsole. So as you can see here, it says uh, Quantic. So the Quantic midsole has been around for a while, but it's something that I really like. I find that the Quantic midsole lasts a lot longer than the Ultra Ego, I think it was called. Um, I get a lot more miles out of the Quantic typically when they have that in the shoe, like the Escalantes had the same midsole. All right, let's lace these up and hit the road. We are out here at the beach. It is a pretty beautiful day, not sunny. It's probably a little windy. Can you guys hear me? I'm uh, three miles into my run, and man, these Torrens are just super comfortable. I'm like really happy with the ride they're giving me. I guess I didn't realize how much I needed new shoes. Maybe that's the thing. My uh, Ultra Escalantes probably have like 400 miles on them, so they're feeling a little flat. I mean, this is just my first run. We'll see how they hold up over time, but so far I'm really digging them. What I'm really liking so far is the uh, fit. They've got like a really secure, snug fit, and that's due to that stretchy upper. They really kind of like wrap around your foot and uh, keep it really secure. Um, nothing really feels loose. Uh, I like that I can tighten them down really tight without feeling like I'm crushing my foot. Uh, I wish they came in a different color at the store though. The black doesn't suit me. I like a bright shoe, you know? You know what's weird is uh, talking to a camera like this in public, I'm trying to get over that fear. Beach is back there. That's the Atlantic Ocean. This is uh, Dennis Port, uh, Cape Cod. And uh, yeah, beautiful. This is a little different. Guys, it is really hot out here. Check this out. Oh, gross. 10 miles in with the, the new Ultra Torin 4.5 plush shoes. Um, really, really digging them so far. Super comfortable, super stretchy. Uh, I'll check back in at like the 50 mile mark to let you know how they're holding up. Uh, but so far, really happy with them. I think if you're into the Ultra Lone Peak trail shoes or the Escalantes, the Torrens are worth taking a look at if you're into that style of shoe or that fit. If you're interested in picking up these shoes, I'll have a link down in the description. That's an affiliate link, so it'll help me pay for these shoes because I had to emergency buy them on vacation. Spent 140 bucks on these things. Hopefully they're a little cheaper on Amazon, so go check that link out. Hopefully the next video is um, the 10,000 subscriber mark. That's uh, really amazing. We're almost there, so make sure you hit that subscribe button to help me out, and uh, I'll do, do like a live feed or something at the uh, 10,000 subscriber mark. And we'll talk then. Thanks a lot for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one.